Welcome back. Well, we had another beautiful spring day from start to finish. Live Sky Cam right now has temperatures sitting in the lower 80s. Winds out of the east southeast at about 10 miles per hour. But notice again, a few thin high clouds out there. Clouds will continue to move in through the overnight hours. And obviously, we're going to see a lot more clouds tomorrow because that will be that transition day. We'll go mostly cloudy by the time we get into the afternoon. 81 officially this afternoon, two degrees above normal. Obviously, the big number here is 49. A little bit of a chilly start, but temperatures are only only trending upward as we make our way into Thursday. Notice we've got that onshore flow again, a couple more clouds developing across portions of Texas. Eventually, those clouds will move back into Louisiana by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. Notice that very large ridge that's kept us nice and dry and overall very comfortable. That's moving out towards the Atlantic, but we are seeing it replaced with our next major storm system, and that again is going to be a very strong cold front driving through. And that one, as you see here, the SPC has already upped us to an enhanced risk for severe weather. That's pretty high on the risk factor. Three out of five at this point. We're talking numerous thunderstorms that could get to that severe category out there. We're, we're talking sometime late morning. That's going to be the window going into the evening hours, possibly even lasting until midnight at this point. We're talking large hail, damaging winds, and even the threat of isolated tornadoes, along with the possibility of some heavy rainfall, maybe in that one to two inch category. But here's the other concern. If we do get tornadoes, they've also included us in this black hatched area. You notice here, kind of across Baton Rouge and New Orleans, what that means is we could be seeing some significant weather across the area. Tornadoes, EF2 or greater. That's kind of rare for us. Usually we're in the EF0 to EF1 range. Well, again, these could be some long track tornadoes. We're talking winds greater than 74 miles per hour. Those are hurricane force winds. And then hail greater than two inches in in diameter across the board. So please pay very close attention to those storms. Luckily for us, this round's going to come through during the daylight hours, so you should be able to kind of get ahead of these storms and again, just have multiple ways to receive warnings. Going into Wednesday, we'll start out nice and dry, clear and quiet as we make our way into the afternoon. A few clouds, still a dry picture. We'll start out Thursday dry during the morning hours, but just give you a little bit of timing. Those storms quickly start to pop up during the afternoon. We'll go with a few isolated thunderstorms. That's when we can see those road. Rotating storms, but it's going to be that main line driving through most likely between six and eight. Now that could shift a little bit back, a little bit forward as we get a little bit closer, but then those storms quickly drive out of here. We get back to sunshine for your Friday and also some cooler temperatures heading into the Easter weekend. We've got storms on Thursday, but nice and dry through Easter Sunday at this point. And take a look at some of these temperatures once we get past that cold front, high of 70 on Friday, down to 47, a little bit cool, but 82 sunny and absolutely picture perfect heading into your Easter. And your skin meter brought to you by Selvin. Not too bad as we move forward. We'll be right back.